Hello again and welcome to uh, another short bite of eCritical. Today we're going to talk about the uh, way in which you can add graphs to the screen, customize your views to give you a bit more information and allow you to drill down a little bit more into the patient uh, and, and get more details that you're looking for. What we're going to do with this is we're going to add a um, an epinephrine infusion graph so that we can see what what range what what has been happening with the patient um, over the last 24 hours. So for First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the cardiovascular graph. As you can see that the, um, the screen has a number of different uh, graphs that are available. And um, as a default, the uh, um, it'll show you just on, a, on the bar graph how much epinephrine or norepinephrine or other vasoactive medications are, are infusing, as well as the basic vital signs, the CV values, the blood pressure uh, as you'd usually see it. And you notice that we've changed the interval here, it defaults on the cardiovascular graph to every uh, 20 minutes to give you a little bit finer detail. You can also see the CVP and the lactate uh, as the default view. Now I've already added the norepinephrine graph. Um, which you can see hasn't really changed in the last uh, uh, since 7 o'clock this morning. And I'm going to actually change the interval to 24 hours so that we can get a little bit finer grain and go back to the start of the day. So we have the entire day here worth of, worth of data. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to spread that out a little bit more. And so now we, we have uh, the intervals changed to two hours with and the last 24 hours and you can see the graph with all of the vital signs um, here. Now this is obviously in the physician view we get to see every minute's worth of vital signs and so a minute's worth of vital signs crammed into um, into a two hour block obviously creates a rather uh, fuzzy line, um, but also listed with it are the lactate and the, in this case, the norepinephrine, which I've added previously. Now, I'm going to add the epinephrine because at this point in time today, you can see the patient is on no norepinephrine, although yesterday at 1849, the patient was on 0.75 uh, milligrams of epinephrine, norepinephrine, rather. Now I'm curious about what, what epinephrine infusion this patient is on, and so I want to add a graft. So I click on the Add a Graft button, and it brings up a form which I can select from a number of different graphs um, and choose what I want to add. And so in this case I want to add the epinephrine, so I click on the epinephrine button, and it shows me what the patient's been on for the last 24 hours. Uh, for, it defaults again back to the every 20 minute when you add a graph. And I can alter the height of each of these so that I can see the views that I want to see. Now, there's a couple of ones on here that I don't find are really particularly relevant, and they're kind of cluttering up the space. The CV graph is, is in there as a default, and I don't really want that because it's not really adding any in further information. So in order to remove it, I just simply go over to this right-hand side in this little hand icon, right click on it, and then under general I can have a number of different options to the different view properties or to remove the view. I just click on remove the view and it's gone. Okay. And in this case the, because the norepinephrine has been set to zero it's also cluttering up the space so I'm going to do the same thing again. Right click on it, and then select general, remove this view and it's gone as well. Now repeat again and I say I don't want to look at the lactate values anymore so remove that view and now I just have the epinephrine infusion and the patient's vital signs throughout the entire um, uh, since, uh, since yesterday. I'm just going to go back, sorry, back up to the beginning, or to the end of day here. So this is the 
the last uh, couple of hours with this patient. And in a similar way with the uh, changing the, the time intervals, I can select the default for the graphs. There's 20 minutes and I can get finer grain if I want and I can see it every two minute intervals. Or I can set it for two hour intervals and then that gives me if we just uh, move this over a little bit it gives us approximately the last 24 hours worth of, of data across this. Now at any time we want we can always move the, the cursor either by clicking on the button here and you can see this button on the, moves at one minute back in time or moves it one minute forward in time or if I want to make big jumps I can just click on the button any any time I want. And then if I most if my if I put my cursor over a particular parameter, I can get a little pop-up box that'll tell me what the value was at that point point in time. So that's the how, that's how we manage to add graphs, and we can customize the views we like to um, by just simply using the right-sided buttons to right-click and remove views, or clicking on the select a graph to add a view. In the next uh, next one, we're going to talk a little bit more about changing the layout, uh, which we've covered in uh, in a bit of de before, and we'll just get into more detail with them, and then and then talk a bit more about how we can alter our views using the uh, parameter views.